Here's a quick look at the new Weatherby Element. This is the plastic stock version. The original was walnut. I tested one in 20 gauge. This is a 12 gauge, 26 inch barrel. It's an inertia gun. Weatherby's done a couple things I like. They call this griptonite, this rubber gripping surface. They've used this in some of their vanguards. It's on the forearm and it's on the pistol grip. The buttstock is curved, which I don't like. It makes it difficult to replace. Um, the Weatherby Element is essentially the ATA Arms Neo. It's essentially the gun. It's an inertia gun. Very, very similar action. This is uh, to uh, Benelli. It's uh, the basic Bruno Civilani action. And for starters, let's do a function test. This gun's never been fired before. I'm going to start out with, with some Federal Top Guns. These are one ounce, one ounce, 1180 feet per second. Well, that's about as low as I would typically go in 12 gauge anyway, but we'll see if the uh, if the element can handle them. It loads smoothly, I can tell you that. The shells glide right in. You're not going to get a Benelli thumb out of this. So good job with the loading. There's very little resistance there at all. And let's take a few shots and see what happens. No problem at all with the with the ejection. I'll fling a few holes at the camera so you can see. Again, these are one ounce lows, 1180 feet per second. So I'll take a look. Not much problem. Easy loading, good ejection. Uh, we'll break a few more with the top guns. Let me get some more ammo and then we'll step up the load intensity. No problem whatsoever. Good shooting gun. So uh, it's right out of the box. No break-in, no nothing. And we're doing just fine with one ounce loads. One ounce economical target loads, federal top guns. We'll step up the load intensity a little bit and see how the recoil feels, at least to my highly trained shoulder. The loading's extremely smooth. I think everybody's gonna like that. And there's not much of a uh, propensity for a Benelli click. The breech bolt slaps back into place with a lot of force. Not much to it. See, so it's a nice snappy action on it. So this is a 26 inch barrel, balanced well, seven and a quarter pound gun. I generally like it. People are going to love the price, either in black synthetic or in the camo because you're talking about half the price of several inertia guns. A little quibble about the recoil pad. The safety is metal and it's small. I wish it was a little bit larger. But as it happens, there isn't much problem getting it off. So, and the gun shoulders very well. I'll try one more brand of ammo and then we'll move it along. That's all there is to it. Nice gun. For a seven and a quarter pound inertia gun, it shoots about the same as any other seven and a quarter pound inertia gun, which is to say, sure, a little bit harsher than a gas gun, but the appeal of the inertia gun is for people that 
um, don't care to clean their shotguns or in some cases never want to clean them. I think Weatherby's done well here. Good functioning gun, even with one ounce loads and well finished, a smooth bolt. For those familiar with Benelli's, it's a, a very simple control set. Hit the, the bolt stop right here and the breech bolt is open. So there's not much to it. I've got one shell left and that will wrap it up at least for this uh, initial video. Not much to it, good gun.